The first pier ever built at the Port of Long Beach was a 500-foot wooden dock that could only accommodate shallow draft coastal lumber schooners. Today, the port has 10 piers and 80 deep water berths equipped to handle the largest commercial shipping vessels out there. Hi, I'm Ken Winkler and today we are at Pier A. You know, decades ago this was actually home to a Ford auto manufacturing plant and construction of this Inner Harbor Pier began all the way back in 1928. Since December of 2002, however, it has been home to SSA Terminals and Mediterranean Shipping Company, who operate one of the most modern facilities of its kind here at the port. Let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see behind me, this place is really busy, and it's a good thing. It looks great on camera. And here with us today is Alan Bates, Terminal Manager at SSA Terminals. How are you doing, Alan? We have one long stretch here at the terminal for the, the ships to come to berth here. Um, how many ships can pull up at this terminal? Uh, we can fit uh, three full-size vessels. Uh, we have a total berth space of uh, 3,600 feet. And are these kind of the latest generation of vessels? I understand a lot of them require really deep water. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the water depth uh, to handle the bigger vessels has been uh, increased to 50 feet. Uh, this allows for us to uh, bring in vessels as large as uh, 8,200 TUs. So, Alan, looking around me, I understand that we're pretty much all the way back here within the port region. This is um, considered the inner harbor. Is there any benefit to being this far back? Uh, one of the, the main benefits is, there, is our connection to the uh, off-dock rail, the ICTF. Uh, it's a little shorter distance for the, for the trucks to travel and allows us to uh, you know, get the cargo over there a little bit quicker. Okay, so here's the trick question. I see all these containers coming off of this vessel here. What's in these things? Yeah, again, anything you see in your house, uh, you know, people even import cars, you know, they're, they're relocating from another country back to the United States. It's, you know, it could be personal goods too, but most of, the, most of the stuff you have at your home and you see in the grocery stores and everything else is what's in these containers. So here we are at Ground Zero where all the action takes place. Alan, first of all, how many cranes are on this terminal? Uh, we have 10 cranes on the terminal and currently we're working six cranes. Okay, so with six cranes working, with the yard hostlers receiving the, the containers and taking them through the yard, how long will it take to unload this vessel? Uh, this vessel here, uh, with, with the discharge and the load back, which is approximately 7,800 moves, will be here for about 72 hours or three days. All right, Alan, so all these containers are coming off this vessel. I want to see what you guys do with them once they're in the yard here. Where are we going next? Uh, we'll go to the container yard where, they, uh, where we offload the containers that come off the ship and we deliver them to, uh, to the truckers to deliver them to the customers. All right, let's check it out. All right. Okay, so this is the container yard, and it's pretty incredible. Alan, what is the capacity of this, this yard here? Uh, overall capacity is about 24,000 TEUs. And uh, what does that mean to people who have never heard the term TEUs? We could hold up to 24,000 20 foot containers. And each yard tractor is equipped with an LED display showing the container information so that everyone can easily see where it's going. So I've just learned that one third of all the cargo here at SSA terminals is actually moved by rail. Now, Alan, what role does it play here in the uh, the terminals operations? Uh, with, you know, from an environmental side, uh, by bringing containers in on the rail, it, it uh, keeps less trucks on the road, and it allows uh, cargo to come into the terminal without you know without using trucks. It allows us to bring a, a large number of containers in at one time. Um, you know, and we do both westbound and eastbound. Westbound is the stuff that's coming. It's going back onto the ships, and then we also do the eastbound, which is the imports that are coming off the ships, going to various destinations, Chicago, Memphis, Houston, Dallas, and those types of areas. An electronic positioning system, kind of like GPS, is utilized throughout the yard, providing terminal staff with a three-dimensional view of container location and status, which they share with their customers by Weber phone. They also offer refrigerated container service with 629 reefer plugs within the terminal. All right, Alan, it was a great uh, tour. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, anytime, anytime. All right, okay. Pier A has a long and storied history here at the Port of Long Beach, and SSA Terminals is continuing that story with high-tech heavy-duty equipment, streamlined operations, and a large number of skilled people who keep the goods we buy flowing across the U.S. every day. I'm Ken Winkler, and thanks for watching.